What's up? All right. So yeah, it's been a while since I since I got any new content in. I had an accident. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it listen, it was an accident, and I think I'm gonna post a video up on this and the culprit. Yeah, this little stinger, man. Woo! Bit me. Um, but anyways, I, I'm not going to cover that in this video. This is a two rows of Tucson. Um, hey, real quick about coming video. So because I'm one-handed, I really am not in any way able to uh, disassemble knives. So check-ins are kind of stalled right now. Luckily, we've got the backlog um, there's plenty up there in the backlog right now. So I've got, I've got a few days that I can heal and, and, you know, try to get back to speed. But, but yeah, I, it, it, uh, it beat me up pretty good anyways. So I can do these, uh, it's really like one handed demo stuff. Uh, we're not going to do any disassembly. I'm also going to do, I'm going to try to get a purge video up today, and try to do another purge. I've got a whole box full of purge stuff. And uh, that's something else I can do. And then maybe I'll do one on that piece. And kind of my whole accident injury thing. Kind of run through it and let everybody know in case you're curious. And I've got some thoughts on it. And definitely I have uh, other people's thoughts on it. And that particular uh, pistol and what they think about it. And, and I'll share what I think about it. But anyways, hey, let's get to it. So we've got two two rows of two sons in this case that we're going to do. Uh, this row here has been previously done. Uh, there's a video, I think it's called Row of Two Sons. But this one's called Two Rows of Two Sons. And we're going to do these two rows right here. Yep, these two. All right, so let's just get started with this first knife. Look at this thing. I mean... What a bruiser. It's uh it's got this Jamastus Jamascus G10 uh really neat integrated backspacer with this uh finger hole. Uh pretty decent pocket clip, but it is a ball clip. Uh let's see if I can illustrate that. Yeah, it's like a ball clip. So, hey, let's sling this thing out. It's It's got, I don't know, bolster lock? Is that what you call it, I guess? Or a line? I mean, let's call it a bolster lock. All right, but let's get that out of there. Boom, look at that. Look at the action on that thing. And the grip on this, wow. I mean, very confident. You know, the whole not so confident, very confident. This thing's very confident. Wonderful grip. Even if you're up in here, if you don't want to use that finger guard, you can get up in here. And that hawk's bill, this jimping, combat stuff, man. I mean, you put your thumb in that, you're not going forward of it. With any, any amount of pressure down on that jimping, you can't get forward of it. It'll shred your thumb, for sure. Really locked in. Wonderful grip. I mean, this thing, being able to pull, and, and I would say probably slice as well. Yeah, so this is the TS-373 in D2 steel. Titanium Jamascus. Yeah, pretty cool. The action on it requires a little bit of shakedown. Could I improve it? Probably. I don't know. It's just so snappy coming out that the style of knife, I felt like the action that's here is appropriate for this knife. Spidey flick. Got to kind of want it. Yeah, look at this thing, though. And the, uh, what is it? The reverse grip on it. I mean, you've got this knuckle guard, you know, to strike. It's just brutal because the knife is really locked into the palm of your hand. So, I mean, it's like a brass knuckle. Not knuckles, but knuckle. I mean, man, you could strike with that. And then look at this blade. So, you know. Wow. I mean, as far as a defensive weapon, it's it's large and extremely capable. Yeah, this thing, pretty stunning. Yeah, one more time. 
TS-373, it's a Wong design in D2 steel. That pocket clip, super rigid. I'm going to guess that, that that pocket clip, I mean, I'd love to say we need to run it, but that's a two-handed deal, and I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah. All right, next. I'm trying to think if I missed anything with that one. I don't know. Uh, let's do the next one. Sounds so flippant, you know, it's like, eh, whatever. Uh, this is a TS-270 full titanium and M390 steel. Moswan Mokhtar design. TS-270, M390. Wonderful ergonomics. I mean, in hand, this thing's so comfortable. And it's like ball clip heaven right now. There's another one. Yep. And we all know I am not a super fan. This one's got a lot more flex in it. So if I remember right, this one runs pretty good. But I will say um, mm, this one, I believe, has a review on the channel. The other one, I'm not so sure. This one's got really nice action, though. Yep. Very comfortable in hand. Big, tall, flat grind blade. And you can you can get a reverse reverse on this, which I always like. This this style of grip. Mm -hmm. Fairly lightweight. It's not super heavy. Yeah, TS two seventy and M three ninety. That that blade shape always reminds me of like a pelican. The you know I mean this is more a pelican than the knives that are called pelican. If you ask me, just because it looks like a, a pelican's beak, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Great drop shot action, spidey flick, thumb flick. Yeah, this thing's smooth as glass. All right, next. This one's kind of interesting. This is a TS-379. Yeah, look at this little chunker. There it is, TS-379. This one's in M390. I kind of like these horizontal lines on the blade. Look at the action on this thing. Internal stop pins. It's got a great spidey flick. This is actually the one that I did not too long ago where I modified the uh, thumb studs. I probably should finish because this one's a little uneven. Wouldn't be hard to even that out. Just take a little time on it and get it right. But what's interesting is this is my keeper. I have this one that's not modified. See, those thumb studs are the original size. And this one is in 14C28N. This one is going to go from this video into the purge box. Yeah, I'll be purging this knife. I don't have a price on it right now, but I'm going to guess it's in the... Yeah, I don't know. I hate to even guess. I don't know. I have to look it up. But yeah, this one's going to go from this video into the purge pile. It was actually taking up um, another splot in another case. And so I was like, don't I have two of these? And so I went looking for it and found it. And I'm like, yeah, let's get that out of there. We'll put it in the purge pile because I am starting to purge doubles. What the hesitation on purging these doubles has been this. I want to get through all these cases because there's no rhyme or reason to these knives. So I want to get through all the cases and all the two sons, get them on, on film and at least do a, a row of Tucson and so an introductory to the model before I start purging them. Yeah, I almost did it the other day because I can't check in knives. So I was like, man, I could I could maybe go through my Tucson's and get these doubles and triples out and get them in a the purge box. But I found myself in a row that I hadn't done a Tucson two rows on yet. So, yeah, I like these horizontal lines on this knife. 
the pocket clip and the blade. Very cool. Ergonomically in hand. What a chunker and really nice. Which is why I chose to upgrade and get the 390 version. Because I really like the knife. Yep. It's not just a collector. I mean, I really like that one. Next is the TS-259. And it's strange. It's got these two thumb studs. Yeah, TS-259, Wong design, and 14C 28 inch. G10, uh, steel pocket clip. It's not recessed, and it's got uh, crown screws, but it's got titanium liners. Not steel liners, titanium liners. And it should have a steel insert on that liner in there. I believe it does. Wish I could see it better. Mm. Can I pick it up in the camera? Well, let me shine a light on it. I want to make sure I'm calling this right. Okay, well, I put a magnet to it, and they are not titanium liners. They're steel. So I was way off on that. So it's steel, G10, and I believe it's 14C. Mm -hmm. TS259. So it's got the two thumb studs, and then it's got a back clipper. And again, a, a liner lock. So you don't have to worry about, you know, locking yourself out of that knife. Excellent ergonomics on this knife. I mean, it's a short little compact knife. But, I mean, ergonomically, the hand just really locks in. And with this finger guard, I mean, it's a confident grip. I really, I, oddly, I mean, oddly enough, I mean, it was an odd knife. I really like it. I like the clip point on it, the excellent blade. The thumb stud action is really nice on this. Very snappy. Ergonomically, I mean, it's a it's a plus. A plus, man. Like it. Not A plus, but it's an A for sure. Yeah. Pretty cool. And a pocket clip runs good, even though it's got them crown screws. Yeah, still runs well. That pocket clip. You know, honestly, compared to some of the milled titanium, why aren't we just putting that on everything? Because, man, those things run really good. But, yeah, the TS-259 and 14C. Yeah, fairly fairly compact knife, but really comfortable. Nice little pocket knife. This is probably one that, well, I'll save it. I've got another orange knife coming up here i'm going to mention something about this orange i'll wait next mm, that was the 259 this is the 388 ts 388 look at this thing i'm pretty sure that i featured this on the channel it's got a video on it carbon fiber titanium ts 388 and d2 steel and it's got this big i mean what's uh it's not quite uh, kukri, is that it? It's not quite one of those, but sort of. It's an interesting, I mean, fat, belly, fat belly, tall, flat grind blade. Mm -hmm. Thin profile on the grip, really ergonomically nice. Confident grip, decent jimping on the back gets wider as you go back and so it it does kind of stuff you forward on the grip does kind of plant you and push you this way once you grip down on it yeah comfortable in hand for sure the reverse grip solid and the action on this thing mm -hmm, it's one of those just a super well machined knife Spidey flick, thumb flick, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Kind of an odd blade, but but it is sharp. TS388 D2 steel. Yeah, pretty cool. Titanium. 
It's got that Tucson carbon fiber that, man, it's hard to find fault with it at all. It's got great patterns. Feels really good in hand. Love it. Next, got the big Vandal. This is a Lee's Knife LTK over at Love Them Knives. This is his design with Tucson. It's an M390. And this is the TS329. Yeah. LTK collaborated. I th he might have collaborated with another designer. And then ultimately Tucson made it. And I think he went on to do another collaboration with Wii Knives. And I do not know the model of that knife. Yeah, button lock. Wonderful action. This is, you know, it's A-plus action. Look at that. Completely drop shut and locks up extremely tight. I mean, wonderful. And this is a big knife. And as far as comfortable in hand, I, I don't know that I can improve the overall ergonomics of this knife. I don't think I could. It's got a ball clip. I mean, man, I need to try to run some of these clips because I got ball clips coming out of my ears. All right, bear with me. Let's see what we can do. I mean, if we can make it run on my back pocket, we're going to settle for that. I'm not struggling through thick stuff because I can't really grip or do anything here. But let's just try this Vandal. Yeah, wonderful. Easy in, easy out. Could I even put a bunch of tension on this knife? I could. Um, I am going to set the Vandal here, and I'm going to go back and find these other ball clips. Where, where were they? Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Those are all good. It's these last two. Okay. Let's check this one. Ooh, that hand. Yeah, this one runs wonderful. I remembered it. Yeah, that's a great ball clip. I mean, I, you know, I can't clown on them all because some of them actually run. And then this karambit with the hawk blade, really stiff on this clip. There's like no spring, but it runs really well. So, I mean, honestly, these ball clips right now so far through this group are great testimony to, you can't just judge them all. You can't go, oh, ball clip and I hate them. Because every one of these runs pretty darn good. This knife's got a spidey flick. It's got a thumb flick. And then, of course, that button. Look at the size of this thing, man. It's huge. Extremely comfortable in hand, though. I can't emphasize that enough. Really deep milling. Titanium. Tucson carbon fiber. Mm-hmm. M390. Yeah, this is a cool piece, man. I see them pop up on D199, eBay, occasionally. Like they have extras or something. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, very cool. The TS329. Um, I, I think it's called the Vandal, but that might be his Wii knife. I'm not sure. But this is the TS329. This is why I don't use names on any of these knives. Because I don't remember them. And I'm going to end up calling something wrong. And then, of course, that's going to be the stick point. Everybody's going to tell me, oh, it's not that. I don't really care if it's, you know, what the name of it is. I know it's the TS329. And I know that it's an amazingly good button lock knife. Can't go wrong. If you like button locks and you like big knives, this is a good one right here. The other thing is, uh, you know, I know on those Wii knives, um, and possibly these, you may reach out to LTK to Lee himself over there at his channel, and he may be able to point you to these if you can't find one. He may, you know, I mean, he may be able to say, hey, go here, here's one, or he may have one. I don't know. Yeah. I do like Lee and love them knives, so I, I, I frequent his channel. Um, next, TS-191. Man, is this a good piece. I mean, TS-191. This is the D2 version. And, and 
This is such a nice knife. Another ball clip. We're going to check it. Such a nice knife that I'm seriously contemplating getting the M390 version. It's just one of those that upgrading it, it's in my wheelhouse, I think, because this knife, the fit, the finish, the, you know, the action, how everything comes together, the grip, the jimping is combat jimping, wonderful platform for the thumb, and then same jimping here for the finger guard, just locks in, and I really like this clip point. I really like it, man. This is this knife. It's got this micro milling all over the scales. Tucson carbon fiber. Yeah, I am contemplating picking up the M390 version, which of course means if I can get one at an auction at a reasonable price, I'm I'm looking to do it. But reasonable price is the key word. There's only so much I'm willing to pay for it because I have one. Ball clip, yep, runs fine. Whoo, I can't be doing too much of that. Okay. Yeah, so this ball, again, another good ball clip. Is this a Mose one knife? Come on, man, surely it is. Yeah. Well, good job on this one. Because I, man, I frown on these clips all the time. But this one, Mose one, runs perfectly. Yeah. No issues. And uh, this one may end up in the purge box if I can get the M390 picked up. Yeah, so you never know. But yeah, just the tolerances, the the fit and finish of this knife. I mean, this is a good one. Really nice. Uh, next. This is the TS-236. It's carbon fiber. And I think this is titanium, but we're going to check it as well. Because I was wrong on the last one. It was actually steel liners. Yeah, this one's carbon fiber. Or, I'm sorry, titanium liners. So I did get this one right. The other one I was wrong. Yeah, so this, let me go back. This is the TS-236. It's car carbon fiber. Titanium liners, titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer, and then it's got 14C28N steel. Yeah, it's got this design that they put into the carbon fiber here. This is a little older version of the Tucson carbon fiber, too. It's not quite as refined as the newer stuff. You can see some variances in the material. This side's a little better, but yeah, I'm not sure what that design's about, but you know, sometimes less is more, you know what I mean? But the ergonomics on this thing, I mean, from a, to put this in your pocket as a self-defense piece, whew, man, this thing, back flipper only, almost feels assisted with the detent, the blade, the light handle, when that comes out of there. I mean, it, it it's coming out. It comes out like a rocket ship. Just shoots it out there. Not quite as good as a couple others. Like, I'm not going to say it's the best, but man, it's, it's up there. It's got wonderful action to it. Yeah. Excellent ergonomics. Very comfortable. Nice reverse grip. Got a good platform for the thumb. It's like it was made for it. See how it's curved? Thumb just really caps that off wonderfully. And then that leaves you with an extremely confident reverse grip. Yeah. Uh, I better keep it moving. TS-236. I mean, listen, it's just going to be longer because I, you know, I can't do check-ins. So I'm, we're looking at two suns, man. Enjoy the ride. Uh, TS-321. So this one... <laughs> oddly enough man it's a super budget piece but i just fell in love with this knife and i'm gonna show you why yeah g10 and 14c 28n night morning design i mean this thing is so cool the handle 
my impression of the handle is that it looks old school like somebody took a branch from a tree and made a handle out of it. Obviously, that's not it. It's G10, but it just looks like a piece of wood and was kind of carved and smoothed off. Nice clip point. Really like this tall, flat grind on this blade. Super slicey. I mean, you got to go pretty high to get to that tip uh, for that kind of cutting, but... I mean, maybe a hunting knife or just an EDC. It's kind of thin, in my opinion, for an EDC. Like if you're prying on stuff or picking, you know, I don't know. It's more of a slicer than than any of that. But super comfortable in the hand. Excellent jimping on the spine. Um, a little locked in here. I'm going to say less than just shy of confident on the grip only because there's not a lot locking your hand in here if you met resistance going forward you could come open over on that blade and so for me I, i'm gonna drop short of a confident grip but it's got a really nice choke up position to do finer work maybe a hunting knife or skinning g10 would be easy to clean up you know and uh, I believe there's steel liners in there on both sides. Yeah. Skeletonized. Really nice and light. This knife is not heavy at all. Super light. And then a couple of shakes for the action. Excellent snappy um, blade retrieval. Wonderful spidey flick on it. The drop, just a couple of shakes. Just to get it moving. And, you know, maybe if I run this action a little bit, it'd, it'd get better. It would improve. Good recessed pocket clips. Got crown screws, so it, it's easy in and out of the pocket. Yeah. It's a favorite, oddly enough, man. I just, you know, sometimes sometimes visually something grabs you, and then you put it in hand, and it, and it supports what you see. And this is one of those. And it's got good steel, you know. I am a fan of 14C28N. I mean, when you look at the, I don't know, the breakdowns of particular steels, that 14C just ranks, man. It ranks really high, even against powdered steel. It ranks pretty high in most categories. Next, all right, look at this thing. This is the TS-264, Mosul Mokhtar which means, yeah, you guessed it, we got a ball. I've struggled with this one a little bit. We'll come back to that pocket clip, but big, tall, flat grind blade. You got to get way over to get the tip, um, but full titanium. It is not an integral, but the way that the backspacer is integrated into the scales, it sort of appears like it. Um, and kind of functions like an integral. Uh, but, you know, it's held together. It's two separate scales. But, man, this thing is so light and so comfortable in hand. I This thing, it's just one of those, man. And the action, mm -hmm, drop shut. Super snappy on the thumb. Super snappy on the spidey flick. But that's, I mean, those are the only two ways in this thing. And then just amazingly comfortable in the hand. Carbon fiber, titanium. <clears throat> yeah, so let's get to this pocket clip. So as you can see, I chewed the backside of this out with files and dremels trying to relief some tension into this clip. And now there's the tiniest little bit of tension because this pocket clip, I could not get it in a pair of pants. I, I couldn't get it in a pocket. I mean, even with two hands, pulling on the clip with one hand, trying to stretch the pocket with the other. And so now, on thin material, it goes in and it's locked in like a dryer clip. Great tension. I mean, but golly, it took me a lot to get that just right. To get it to where it worked well. And it kind of snaps coming out, you hear it? So it works, but man, did I modify it um, to get that right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, 
somebody else, I forget who on the channel, it might have been uh, Stephen, um, somebody had said that they were going to take a grinder to it and then just make it thinner along here, which probably would look a lot better than what I did. I mean, man, it... I, you know, I got obsessed at a certain point. I was just like, Hey, I don't care what I got to do to this knife and how beat up it gets. I'm making this pocket clip work. And so I, I got obsessed with it. Anyways, I got it to work, but it is not pretty. It is not pretty. I mean, it wouldn't hurt my feelings to just find a replacement pocket clip that would fit into this space that was longer, flexible, that in and out of the pocket. And then just modify the knife, do away with the original clip. But mostly because I butchered it. If I could, you know, if I was smart and took my time with it, I probably, and I may be able to go back and just clean that up so it's not so chewed up. I don't know. The outside of the clip's pretty chewed up too. Yeah. All right, enough on this thing. TS-264, M390 steel. Love that, that, stonewash tall flat grind blade kind of a satin finish on it and the action on this knife mm -mm -mm. so good ergonomics again so good it's just that pocket clip drove me nuts man all right next we're going to come up to this next row this is a ts 117 grandpa there it is right on the clip grandpa that's me man it's an m390 it's a max I always struggle with this name, man, but uh, Tachuk. And I think, Max, you popped in here recently and uh, uh, commented on a video we did on one of your pieces. So that was kind of cool to have. I always love it when designers pop in and see what I'm talking about with their pieces. But, yeah, Max popped in and I don't said thanks or something like he didn't i mean we're not buddies now <laughs> it's not like that man but he did pop in but golly do i love the grandpa i mean i'll tell you all it takes if there if there's anything in you that digs this old school vibe this clip point you know even the handle shape if there man you got to find one of these you got to get it i think they make it in a 14c version as well everything's exactly the same just the steel is 14c and all it takes is to put this in hand. Man, you put that in hand, and and I I dare you to not just really love this knife. Excellent action. I mean, it takes a little bit of shaking, but super hydraulic. Pocket clips works wonderfully. I, I tell you, it's so nice, and I like it so much, I refrain from putting it in my pocket. I mean, I almost make, because I had this, the 14C version, and I gifted it. Look at the uh, milling, even on the on the uh, the carbon fiber. See that? And it does. It adds texture and grip to it. Wonderful deep milling in the bolster, the titanium. I say bolster, but this is a titanium scale with this uh, carbon fiber insert. But wonderful deep milling in it. I mean, I just can't say enough nice about this knife. Yeah, I, everything about it, the clip, the grip, the ergonomics, the steel, the blade. Like, here's what I was, and I'll wrap up with this. It makes me wish I hadn't gotten rid of the 14C version just so I could put one in my pocket regularly. I just refuse to, to smash this one around. It's too nice. Yeah, next. Uh... Come on, man. Where you at? Mm, okay, TS-204. Come on, man. Look at this thing. This is one of those that's got a pretty pretty pronounced name to it. But I'm not going to use names. I'm just going to use the, what did I say it was? A 204. It's carbon fiber, G10, titanium pocket clip. And this one, I believe, also has titanium liners. Let's prove it out. Yeah, titanium liners. It's picking up that screw that's going through there. But yeah, it's all titanium, uh, titanium liners and titanium backspacer. Yep. 
and it's a Tepe design, number 302, he numbers his stuff, and it's in S90V. Man, this thing is so nice. Look at it. Ergonomically, I mean, golly, in hand, perfection. Just did such a good job on this one. It's got a little choke-up spot that you can get up here if you need to, you know, whatever. But the action on it, just as smooth as can be. Back flipper only. I mean, I, I think I can spidey flick it. Yeah, I can. Enough blade there. I'm not even going to do that. But, oh, I like this one so much. Such a good knife. And I got to confess that I like it so much that not too long ago, I bought the M390 version. Because these, these were showing up on D-Win's uh, eBay site. So I went ahead and bought the M390 version. I don't know why. I just put a low bid on it and I won it. And I mean, it's going against my rules. I can't be bringing in multiples, but it's such a good knife. And they were going fairly inexpensive that I was like, yeah, I, if I can get it cheap, I'm going to get one. But this S90V version, mm -mm -mm. is it going in? No, this ain't going nowhere. So I may purge the other one, you know, get it out on the list, let somebody else try one out. Because I know how it goes. You see it on D-Win's site, and it's like, mm, that's kind of cool. But then if I can run a video on it, and you can see it better, which I'm not the only one that runs video on this stuff, I'm pretty sure this 202 or 204 has been covered by just about everybody that covers Tucson Knives because it's that good. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's one of those, man. Special. Next. This is kind of an odd duck. It's a 138. TS-138. Full titanium. Titanium uh, pocket clip, backspacer, scales. And you got to be careful not to lock yourself out. It's easy just to shape the size of this knife to get your fingers on this uh, frame lock. And if you do, you're locked out of this knife. Uh, let's just go back flipper. There we go. I mean, the action's good on it. it. The detent's not too tight. It's just so easy for me to get my fingers on that lock bar, and then I'm locked out. But yeah, look at this thing. Long design, M390 steel. And the design of it is far enough out there that it's so unique that it's one of the things that makes this knife cool. And then this one provides an amazing choked up grip. You know, that kind of thing. This knife comes in D2 as well. This is the upper version, I believe. There it is. Yeah, this one comes in D2 as well. See, the action's not... It's not... The detent's not overdone. It's just, for some reason, I just really struggle on those other deployments, the thumb, not getting my fingers on it. I guess it's training. You know, if I spent more time with this knife, my hands would fall naturally where they need to. I would just train them. Yeah, so TS-138. Uh, Titanium M390. Pretty special little piece, so very cool. Built like a tank. All right, next. This one's got a pretty pretty well-known name as well. It's a TS-136. It's carbon fiber, titanium. This one's shredded carbon fiber. It's not standard Tucson carbon fiber. It's a shredded. Really attractive knife. It's a Moselon Mokhtar design. So, of course... Got a ball clip. We're going to check it. Stunning action. Spidey, or thumb flick. Spidey flick. 
you know, there's no issues of locking yourself out in this one because it's sort of like a bolster lock. I mean, it's hidden behind this carbon fiber scale. It's probably a liner lock more than anything, but I'm not getting into that debate, man. You call it what you will. Ergonomics on it, man, what a platform for the thumb. It's kind of almost harpoonish just the way that the thumb will land up in there. It's not much of a finger guard. There's definitely a place that's purposed for that index finger and then everything else really lands in there well. So it does create a really locked in feel, but without that finger guard here, I I refuse to call a knife with a confident grip if my my fingers aren't protected from coming over that blade. So I'm going to bring it up short er, of confident. But wow, is it comfortable? And it really is locked in, man. I have a bunch of grip here. Excellent dual grind on this blade. Little extra thickness for the tip. But they've matched that, that sharpening bevel. If you look at the thickness, it stays consistent all the way through that secondary grind. So they, they did a good job of putting all that in there. Looks like Looks like I got some tape on there. It's got some... Got some sticky stuff on the blade. Yeah. Really nice. M390. Let's check that clip. Excellent action. Drop shut. Boom. All right. Pocket clip. Come on. What you got going? I hope it runs. Really do. I'm for it. Yeah. Runs really well. Very well. Super smooth. It's not a dryer clip, but super smooth. One hand in, one hand out. I mean, it's not a tactical knife anyways because of the the not confident grip. So, I mean, I wouldn't worry too... Me personally, I wouldn't worry too much about running down some, you know, some situation, my knife flying out. It's more of a... It's more of a larger executive carry. But would it be capable... If, you know, if you had to bring it to bear, heck yeah, look at this reverse grip. Capped off, wonderful, very confident. Yeah. It's a good one. TS-136. Shredded carbon fiber, titanium. Cool. Next. Come on, man, look at this thing. This is a... Uh, TS-313. Oops. Butt lock. Full titanium. It's a night morning design. TS-313 and M390. Built like a tank. Wonderful action. Locked up tight as a drum. Absolutely no wiggle in this knife whatsoever. No button stick. I mean, this thing just it's runs. Oh. Ergonomics. I mean, really solid ergonomics. Excellent jimping on the spine. No finger guard. So again, I'm only going to come up just short of a confident grip. But am I locked in here? Oh, man. Look at this. It's got a hollow ground to a flat grind on the tip. And the bevels are consistent in width all the way through that needle sharp tip. And that swedge of a tip that's created there. Wonderful. But hollow ground, super sharp. Yeah. It's got micro milling all through the scales. Look at how it's milled. They they volcanoed where the button goes, rose up on it, and milled that out. Creates a cool effect. Wonderful. Beautiful clip. Yeah, man. This thing's something else. TS-313 Full Titanium M390. Beautiful Tucson. Next. Okay, so I I just featured this one on the channel not too long ago. This is a TS-194 and M390. 
So I had the other version that's anodized and I had to get the non-anodized. This is one of those that I thought, man, I'm going to get that non-anodized and see if I like the grip better. And I do, 100%. Yeah, so it's got a wonderful locked up grip this night. Did I mention the model number? It's TS-194 in the M390. So very locked in, confident grip. I mean, there's enough of a finger guard here that locks me in. There's no jimping here for the thumb platform, but it's just so purposeful that the thumb really rides in there. And the grip on this is definitely confident. Yeah, it's wonderful grip. It's got a nice reverse grip. Again, very confident to go reverse like that with this knife. The action on it. Super hydraulic. Wonderful. Yeah. I already have relocated and purged the other TS-194, the one that I had that's anodized. It went out in the last purge, I believe. Yeah, Mosuan Mokhtar design. It's not a ball clip, though. Yep, and I love these vertical lines again, man. These horizontal lines, I like these. I guess it's vertical or horizontal, you know. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's got a fuller. Can I use that fuller? I can. Yep, nice spidey flick. Thumb flick. There is a choke up up on it. Mm-hmm. Man, I like this one a lot. And I believe it's currently running. Like this version, the M390 version, is I like I think you might be able to find this on live auctions. If not, maybe through the six leaf seller, six leaf SI or SL, um, and or White Mountain Knives. I believe White Mountain Knives may have this. They may have it, now I'm thinking about it, in a D2 version. So you might look and see if you can find it in a D2 version. Next, look at this thing. Another button lock. This is a TS-358 D2 steel. Another numbered, it's number 248, Keanu design. Two big slabs of titanium. Huge big slabs. This is a large knife. Kind of like uh, LTK's knife. It's comparable in size, I believe. Let's see. I mean, they're pretty, pretty close, but LTK is bigger for sure. I think the blades are, well, even the blade. Yeah, okay. LTK's knife is much larger. Yeah, this thing. Mm -mm -mm. Wonderful action. Locked up tight, man. No play whatsoever. And it's got a unique, wonderful titanium pocket clip that really grips. It's recessed. It's got a crown screw, but it works really well. And it, there's a ton of this highlighted milling, so it provides grip on this knife. Overall, the ergonomics on this thing are just, they're an A. Super comfortable in hand. Yeah. I mean, if this was to come out in a Super Steel... I would seriously consider upgrading and then moving this one out in the purge. Yeah, no doubt. It's that nice. Very cool. Yep. TS-358 D2 Steel. Next. So, oddly enough, right in the case next to it is titanium carbon fiber inserts. This is another Keanu design. It's 396 in D2, and this is number 115. Yeah, it's not a button lock. It's like a bolster lock, I guess. Liner lock, bolster lock. Stunning drop shut action. I mean, this thing, the action on it, the fit and finish. I mean, look at the tolerances in here. If you look uh, here, look at look at the, the space between the blade and the scales. This thing is so nice, so so tightly machined, and it runs perfectly. Ergonomics, I mean, wow. The jimping's not combat, but I mean, it's it's pretty grippy, and the grip here is really good, just right up too confident. Of course, it's missing that finger guard. It's sort of got one built in. It's just, I mean, it's just a little shy for me 
to call it confident. Huge, tall, flat grind blade, super slicey, same pocket clip, wonderful. I mean, you want to talk retention, these things will hold a knife in your pocket. Dryer clips. Yeah. And both those knives, the action on them, wonderful. This one's a thumb or a spidey flick only, only through this flick hole, but it works really well. I mean, golly, I, I mean, I like both these knives. And here's the thing. This one is currently available anodized and, I believe, with M390 steel. So you can upgrade this version or this model. Not this version, but the model. Next, next to last, we're coming to the end of the list. And good thing, man, we're almost at an hour. So if you're still hanging in there, good for you, bro. I mean, wow. Or brother or sister. Uh, this is a TS-298, 14C28N. You know, part of the problem is I don't have any duplicates here. If I had some duplicates, we probably could have smashed through it. But I don't care. I'm going to put out an hour of content because I can't do nothing else right now. Yeah, TS-298, 14C28N, R-I-H-E design, and very comfortable in hand. Look at this thing, man. Is that not an imposing piece of steel? Just look at it. I mean, wonderful micro milling and very comfortable in hand. I mean, it's, it's, it's not near as refined as some of the others. Like some of these edges are pronounced. I'm not going to call them sharp. Like if I, I mean, yeah, it's got some sharp edges on it. Some of the, some of the edges on these scales could be, could use to be knocked down pretty sharp. If you just hold the knife, it's wonderful. But if you bear down on this, eh, I mean, some of these angles get pretty sharp. Nice finger guard, confident grip, wonderful blade. And if you reverse it, it's got a nice little spot to cap your thumb on it. Very confident reverse grip. Could eh, maybe get there, kind of not. Wonderful action, hydraulic. Runs really well. Super snappy. Yeah, pretty cool knife. And I love that 14C. Flat grind. Mm -hmm. It's a beaut. All right, last up. Let's wrap up. Look at this thing. It's got orange G10. Tucson carbon fiber. Big titanium pocket clip. Yeah, look at this thing nice right this is mm, come on let me look at my notes I had to make a note on this one because it doesn't have model number on it this is a TS 127 yeah TS 127 G10 carbon fiber and it's got titanium liners yeah how about it Titanium backspacer, titanium liners, titanium pocket clip. And then it's got a G10 and carbon fiber uh, overlays. Or scales, I guess. A scale and a bolster on top of these titanium liners. Wonderful action. Very hydraulic. And oddly enough, pretty... I mean, I guess it's not odd when you figure it's titanium, but pretty lightweight. Very comfortable in hand. Combat jimping on the back of the blade. Like you throw up your thumb in there. This is very confident. And very capable self-defense piece. Like completely locked in here. Very confident grip. And I mean, yeah. It could definitely function as a self-defense knife. Very nice uh, potential to cap. They even jimped this back here for that. Yep, you can lock in with this. Woo, so nice. Can you get here? Nah, not really. Yeah. Very cool. Very snappy. And I believe that, yeah, I can thumb flick it. And I can spidey flick it. The action on it is tuned in perfect for all three. Back flip. 
Dump flick. And the Spidey flick. How about it? Yeah, I mean, last but not least, man, the TS-127 G10 carbon fiber titanium in M390 steel. Long design. Pretty, pretty cool. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all hanging out for the better part of an hour, checking out two rows of two suns. We still have one, two, three, four, five rows to go. And once I get through all my cases and all the rows, then I'll have quite a few purges, uh, doubles and triples. But I did uh, reveal this one in this video. It'll go in the purge box. So the next purge, I'll put this in there. Appreciate y'all watching. And uh, hey, all the well wishers for my hands. I appreciate all the concern and, and prayers and well wishes and all that stuff, man. I'm on the heel. And uh, it shouldn't be too long I can get back. And it's a good thing because the inventory is rising because I don't, I don't have to have this hand to purchase or trade to bring in material. You know what I mean? I just need this hand to check it out. All right, y'all. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, y'all.